Hello, hello. Hello, is anybody there? Hello, good evening. Welcome everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. <laughs> oh, you are here alive. That's great. Yes. How do you feel? Actually, a little bit better, but it hurts. It is still hurting. <laughs> oh my gosh. You have a lot of days already. <laughs> yes. Actually, the the uh the doctors <coughs> did me the test again, <clears throat> and they finally know what I have. So, I mean, that's good. <laughs> so what? <laughs> what what do you have? I mean, it's kind of um initial the pneumonia. No so, way. Yes, and I have to be really carefully because. If I really don't take care of this um, sick, I'm going to have like um, tuberculosis, Mom. they told me. But that's another yeah. level. Yes. Yeah. So oh I have to be gosh. really careful <laughs> and um, to do the therapies, the inhalador all the time with me and don't smoke, don't babe <laughs> <laughs> my gosh so yeah please don't smoke <laughs> i mean for real don't do it stop doing it <laughs> actually i don't do it since like uh, six months ago and i changed it to the babe but the doctor told me that it's worse than smoke a cigarette for so. real yes because of the the chemic is like, ah. uh, yeah, it's not, um, um, the, the chemics are different, but they stayed on the pulmones, I don't know how to lungs? say it. Lungs? On, on the lungs, lungs yes, <laughs> on the lungs. And why don't you try the, the electronics? Actually, the vapes are the electronic ones, but ah. the, the, the liquid is different. The, uh, Yes, All and right. they just add to the lungs, and add to the lungs and produce um kind of flema or kind of flu on the lungs. So it's a little bit <laughs> maybe worse it's because than the like because it's the electronic <laughs> use um like liquid, yeah. the liquid affects the lungs. Yeah, so it's worse than cigarettes. So I have five babes here <laughs> i don't know what to do with them <laughs> no you have to survive for them <laughs> yeah well yeah. try to rest because that sounds serious yeah. so be careful all right i want you to get better please all right yes, i went into so it for works it's a little bit um difficult to talk with people to receive the call and try to don't Alone. <laughs> <laughs> but but i mean are you working right now don't you have like day off because of that actually they they give me 10 days but because like i told you we receive new new people new employees so i'm doing the the coaching for them so oh i have gosh. to talk a lot <laughs> i have to stay in the conference room <laughs> to give the coaching so with air conditioner i guess yes man yeah. that's yeah. that's i don't know but you shouldn't do that i mean <laughs> well yes, no <laughs> may may god help you <laughs> and i hope you get better soon all right so try to rest take the medicine follow your doctor's indications and get better soon okay yes Thank you. <laughs> very good okay so no party for erica tonight but the rest of you guys are you ready for the party yay 
It's our last day. Are you ready? Vir virtual party teacher. <laughs> Let's do a party. Why not? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. <laughs> ah, that's great. And look at this. It's not only the last day, it's Friday. So uh, it's, it's a perfect day to celebrate. All right. It's Friday and tomorrow is Father's Day. And yeah. Happy so Father's Day for uh, everyone. If, <laughs> if if here I if here uh, do I, we have yeah, yeah a, a father. I do we know. have do we have parents here? Like fathers? Look, I I prepared this picture for you guys. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The superheroes. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. so, Nelson, tell us, uh, how many children do you have? I I have just one. Only one? Girl or boy? It's boys. It's a boy. Okay, nice. Hector, how about you? Do you have children? Me, teacher? Yes. Yes, I have a children. I have a four children. Four? Oh, yeah, I remember you told us. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Cool. And Ivan, do you have children? Good evening. Good evening. Tell us. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, only one. I, I thought you would say 10. <laughs> 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 only one. Okay, guys. So happy Father's Day. Congratulations. Okay. Thank you. And for Thank the you. girls, you. <laughs> you know that when it is Father's, Father's Day, it's kind of funny because some women say, ah, feliz día del padre para nosotras también, right? So the, the some women always take the credit. So girls, yes. no, this is only for the fathers. <laughs> okay. The woman luchona. Ah, yeah, that's the one. <laughs> All right, so congratulations, guys. <laughs> I wish your kids... A grows healthy and that you can continue doing a good job as now okay pretty good um we have christian here hello christian we have a question for you <laughs> hello teacher good evening <clears throat> tomorrow is father's day so do you have children no oh <laughs> okay, <laughs> so no Father's Day for you. <laughs> no. Okay. He's very young, teacher. <laughs> How old are you, Christian? I'm 25. Ah, uh, yeah, you're young. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, acceptable, no worries. Okay, everybody, welcome to the class. Today is a very special day because, well, basically, this is our last day in this a intermediate level four so now guys it's over but <laughs> todavía les puedo bajar puntos right así que si quieren repetir ah you have to participate guys at the contrary todavía los puedo sure. reprobar algunos <laughs> sure. yes i have a question go ahead how many level i have in this cooperative for english uh, uh, course for the intermediate? Yeah, intermediate and... Uh... Okay, for the intermediate, if I'm not wrong, there are six, I, I don't remember. But yeah, I think it's six. And for advanced level, I think that it's four. I think that in the advanced really? level is less, if I'm not wrong, I, I don't remember pretty well. It's, mm -hmm. it's very close for finale, finale, finale side, finale, the, the... All the course, all the, the, all the, yeah, the, the class? course, all the program. Yes, because, really? yeah, let me see. Um, es que no me acuerdo. Honestly, the advanced, I think that it is few, porque es que en los, en los advanced sí tenemos menos. Um, let me see. In this moment, I will confirm. But I think that the intermediate is the one that is a little bit longer. Mm. Okay, for the intermediate, we have, yes, six levels for the intermediate. Six In this levels. moment, I don't have the information for the advance. But I think that the advance is a little bit shorter, if I'm not wrong. But 
I don't remember, honestly. But yeah, mm. intermediate levels are six. So guys, six. couple of months okay. and you will be in advanced <laughs> level. Oh my goodness. Don't you feel excited oh about it? Goodness. Yeah. Yes? Yes. Ah, come on. No los oigo tan convencidos. You have to say, of course, teacher. <laughs> okay. I can't believe it yet, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> come on. You are doing great, guys. You are improving a lot. By so, the faith, by the faith. Always. By faith, always, of course. All right. So, everybody, let me share the presentation. Can you see it? Yes, teacher. Yes, excellent. Okay, yeah. so today is June 16. Happy Father's Day again for all the fathers. And if you are not father, well, maybe next year. <laughs> we never know. And guys, also congratulations to everyone because today you are completing the level. Congratulations, everyone. Very good, very good. I know it wasn't easy, okay? I know that it was difficult. I know that it's tiring. You have to work. You have to stay up until 10 p.m. So that is not easy. And it requires a lot of effort, but you are doing it. So that's great. Congratulations, guys. You are getting so far, so don't give up. Ya están más allá de la mitad. Yo creo que ya la primera mitad es la más difícil. Así que yo creo que lo más duro ya lo hicieron. All right. Así que no hay forma de que se rindan ahorita. Okay. Congratulations. Now, I hope you remember the topics that we studied during this level. Okay. But we are ending the unit number four. We are ending the week five. And this is the topics that we are going to study today. We are going to identify inventory management crisis. Okay. We have been studying the good management, different type of management, what we can do. But now we are going to see the opposite. What happens with the man when the management is not good? So we are going to have a crisis. That is what we are going to check. So this is the class objective. Uh, I need a volunteer for reading, please. Volunteer? Maybe, sir. Yes, go ahead. Class objective. Participants will be able to identify the main ideas and key details in a passage about an inventory management crisis. 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 Very good. Exactly. So that is what we are going to do. But before that, let's see if you remember how to use suffixes. Do you remember the suffixes that we studied yesterday? If I want to transform a verb into a noun? Yes, teacher, we use the ER. Uh huh. Or OR. Mm -hmm. and man and in in shon in in shon <laughs> okay in shon yeah. yes cool okay let's have a practice if you remember these are some of the examples what that we studied yesterday er or if it is ending in e we just add r and for example, if I say golf, what is the person that performs the action? Golfer. Correct. Golfer. If I have paint. Painter. Painter. Correct. Um, blog. Blogger. Blogger. But blog has a characteristic. What is it? Yes. We have to double G, we have to add double G. Correct, we double the last consonant. Why? Because, because it's... There's... Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Who, Magdalena or Mirna? Explain me. Mirna, please. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I remember that you told that because it's a, a consonant, vowel, consonant. And this is the, the rule for a, a, another consonant. That's correct. Imagine, guys, if the verb, or in this case, the word is short, only one syllable, and if it is ending in consonant, vowel, consonant, we follow the rule, double the last consonant. In this case, if I have the verb own, what do you think? Do I need to double the last consonant? Owner. Okay, owner. Do I need a double N, like here? Mm. Yes or no? Mm. What do you think? Do I need to say yes. like yes. this, owner or <clears throat> only ER? Only, only ER? ER? Why? It's a short word. But the rule is no, no. consonant, vowel, consonant. Oh, and that's vowel, correct. No. Oh, no. Vowel, consonant, mm. consonant. Look. It must finish in consonant, vowel, consonant. What do we have here? We have vowel, consonant, consonant. So mm -mm, doesn't apply. So it's not necessary to double the last consonant. Pretty good. Okay, let's have some examples over here. Mrs. Smith really knows how to manage a company well. She's a great... Which of these words can we use there? Manager. Manager. Manager? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> by faith. <laughs> no, by faith. <laughs> by faith. <laughs> okay. About, I need a volunteer for the next one, please. Who wants to read? Teacher? Yes, go ahead. Read it. Who, who can take care of our children for two hours? Do you know any um um wait, 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 wait. Me teacher. Yes. Maybe baby sister. Ah, very good. Oh, okay. Baby Peter. Peter. Okay. Peter. Baby Peter. Uh-huh. In this case, guys, do you remember what is the meaning for babysitter? Maybe in the Yes. This is, um, you have to be careful with this one because sometimes people say baby sister, but it's not baby sister, it's baby sitter. Okay. Now, the next one, the police are looking for a man who attacked and robbed a man. So what do you think? What will be the word here? The attacker? 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 Uh, attacker. Attacker. Yeah. That is the one, <laughs> exactly. Attacked is the verb. So who performs the action is the attacker. Nice. Okay, the next one. Volunteer for reading, please. Teacher. Yes. Um, I told some time. No, no, no. I. I listened some um, a few years ago. Mm -hmm. Attacant. Yes, okay, same. Attacant. Attacant, or attackant. Attacant. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, do you know how how do you spell it? No? Um, I don't remember, actually. What happens is that we can say attacking. Like, instead of adding ER, we can add ING. Like this. Uh... But... Atacan, honestly, I've never heard that. I mean, not at least yeah. like atacante, ¿verdad? So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I've heard this one. Attacking, but atacan okay, never. Maybe, 
maybe I maybe I am I am wrong, and I don't remember clearly. Could be, maybe. or we can find it. I mean, we can search on the dictionary. Yes, right? I will. Do. Okay, next one. Volunteer for reading, please. The teacher. Yes, go ahead. I think we should tell the driver to slow down. He's driving too fast. Do you agree, guys? The driver? Yes, of course. <laughs> totally. Mm -hmm. The person who drives is the driver. Okay, in the last one, volunteer for reading, please. Only one. Can I uh, try I because I, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, try. We, I have more exercise, no worries. <laughs> Go ahead. Mm, maybe, uh, does that red car belong to Richard? Mm -hmm. Is he the owner? Okay, what do you think guys? Do you agree? Driver, teacher. Driver or but owner? the verb is... Owner. Owner. Or winner? <laughs> No. Look, the keyword, I'm going to share uh -huh. with you the keyword. The keyword is this, belong. Mm -hmm. What is the meaning of belong? Pertenencia. Yes. So mm -hmm. if I'm talking about belongings, pertenencia, ¿de qué estoy hablando? ¿De un driver o de un owner? De un owner. De un owner. So this one, it will be the correct. Okay. So remember guys, if I have a verb and I want to transform it into a noun, one of the suffixes that I can add is E-R. Understood? Yes? Yes, teacher. All right. So another uh, suffix that I can add, and this is something that we checked yesterday, instead of E-R, we also can add I E R also O R. And yesterday we were um, checking some examples, right? And um, for example, if I say distribute, what do you think? What is the correct one? What is the correct noun for distribute? distribute? Very good. Exactly. So those are the differences. And the last one that we checked, we can add mend or ioned. Okay? So can you give me examples, the ones that are ending in mend? Do you remember any nouns that start with mend? Argue. Argue, Develop. argue, bend, develop, mend. What else? Do you remember another one? The ones that we studied yesterday? Ah, maybe we are going to have a surprise exam. My goodness. <laughs> Which one? Management. Management, very good. Okay, excellent. Okay, before continue guys, we are going to complete the survey right now. So I know that you already know the process. So let's start. On WhatsApp's group, I'm going to send the link. You already have the link there. If you open up WhatsApp's group, you will be able to see the link. Okay, we are going to do it together. Don't forget everybody that at the end of the survey, you have to send the screenshots, okay? I already sent the link. Open up the link, please. And remember that the first things that in the uh, survey you need to complete is the order number. I'm going to send it, so just copy and paste. Ahí les acabo de enviar el código de la orden de inicio. Cópienlo así, tal cual se los estoy enviando. 
Name, please. Full name. Email address. Remember colocar el email address que ustedes compartieron. Ok. No vayan a colocar así como que uno nuevo. Eh, complete the phone number, please. All your personal information. In the question number nine, les va a preguntar cuál fue el nombre del proveedor que les dio la capacitación. Eso también se los estoy enviando ahí por WhatsApp Group. That is in the question number nine. En la siguiente pregunta, que sería en la question number 10, dice cuál es el nombre del curso. En este caso, guys, ustedes están en inglés intermedio, módulo 4. ¿Ok? Y en la pregunta 12, dice la fecha de inicio. Ahí se las estoy mandando al grupo de WhatsApp, por si no se acuerdan cuándo iniciamos. Y la fecha de finalización, que sería el día de hoy. ¿Ok? Ahí les estoy enviando la información para que ustedes vayan copiando y pegándola, please. No olviden, guys, that at the end you have to take the screenshot. So this is the survey. El primer número que les envié lo colocan justo acá. Cópienlo tal y como se los he mandado, please. Su nombre, tal y como aparece en su DUI, right? Don't forget to complete all the information. If you have a question, tell me and I will help you with that. Remember that at the end, in the question 15 and 16, esas no son obligatorias, pero igual pueden comentar, pueden mencionar si tienen algún otro curso de interés que a ustedes les gustaría aprender o estudiar. Y comentarios también, pueden agregar comentarios. No tiene el asterisco de obligación. It's optional. Pero igual pueden comentar. Cuando finalicen, click in submit and take the screenshot. Cuando tomen el screenshot, envíenlo al grupo de WhatsApp. Saben su nombre completo. ¿Ok? Teacher. Yes. Can you help me with the name of the company? The full name. Eh... I already sent it on WhatsApp group. Inglés corporativo, or do you mean yours? My. Ah, yours. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Give me a second, ahorita. Ahorita se lo envío. Christian. Okay. Se lo voy a enviar aquí en el chat. Okay, Christian, I already sent it here on Zoom. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. If you need help with the full name of your company, guys, you can also tell me and I can resend it to you. I can see some of your classmates already finished the survey. Thank you, guys. Don't forget to send the screenshot, please. If you have issues, if you have a question, just let me know. If you have a question, just let me know. 
on WhatsApp groups is all the information you can copy and paste. Okay, three people already sent it. Thank you, guys. I will give you more time, so no worries. Complete all the survey. Okay, for the one who just come, I can see Carlos just enter. Carlos, we are taking the survey. So please take the survey. On WhatsApp groups is the link and all the information. So please open up the link and complete the survey. Don't forget to send the screenshot at the end. If you need help, everyone, tell me, I will help you. Okay, I can see nine people already finished. Great, excellent, thank you guys. If you need help, just let me know. So I know that there are some people that are listeners. So please guys, even if you are listener, I want you to complete the survey, please. It has to be done today because the survey needs to have today's date. So si van manejando y ahorita no la pueden tomar, I mean, me gustaría que se tomara un par de minutitos, Porque tiene que ser hoy. Si están como listeners, please, guys, it has to be today. So it just takes a couple of minutes. Okay, thank you for the ones that are already finished. Excellent, very good. For the one who just entered, guys, complete the survey. Si alguien tiene algún, alguna dificultad, please tell me. All right, 11 people already sent it. Thank you guys, very good. I will give you more minutes. So everybody send it. When everybody finished, we are going to continue with some exercises, always practicing the suffixes. So guys, try to remember, try to remember the words that we studied yesterday. Okay, well, everybody finished. I'm going to check attendance. 
I think that most of you are already here. So guys, you know what to do. When you listen to your names, say present. Um, Adriana Escalante. Adriana Escalante. No? Okay. Um, Carlos Abrego. Present teacher. Thank you. Um, Christian Alexander. Present teacher. Okay. Erika Yasmin. Present. All right. Fatima Denise. Present teacher. Okay. Germán Alexander. Present. Thank you. Hector Francisco. Present teacher. Okay. Isabel Hernández. Present miss. Okay. Iván Guzmán. Present. Okay. Jamie Raquel. Present. Okay. Holman Girón. Holman is not here. Okay. Uh, Lucy Natalie. Oh, she's listener. Uh, Magdalena Escalante. Okay. Present teacher. <laughs> it's okay, you're driving, no worries. Uh, Mirna Elizabeth. Present. Okay. Uh, Nelson Antonio. Present. Very good. Oscar Armando. No? Okay. And Rosalina Alvarado. Okay. Now, uh, if you finish, great. For the one who hasn't finished the survey, please complete it. Okay. Remember that it's something that has to be done today. Okay. Now, let's continue. I have here a short paragraph, and I have here different words. We need to complete these spaces with the words over here, but these are the verbs. I need the nouns. For example, this paragraph is talking about tips for endurance events. So these are like mm. advice. No, um, be careful the, uh, with the microphones, please. So here are some da 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 that will make your event successful. Which of these words do you think that I can use here? Here are some. Da, da, da. Uh -huh. Achieve that will make you even successful. Achieve. Okay. Achieve is the verb. What is the noun? Do you remember? Achievement. Achievement. All right. Achievement. Okay. So what do you think? Can we say here are some achievements that will make your event successful? What do you think? I think that is in plural. Achievements? No. Uh huh. Okay. With S. Achievements. Hmm, what do you think, guys? Well, let's continue with the paragraph. And if later you want to change, we can do it. It says, before you start, imagine that you are going to have an event. Okay, so before you start, do a lot of, what do you think? A lot of accommodations. A uh, lot of information. What do you think? What do we need to do before an event? Maybe information. A lot of information. Do you agree, guys? What do you think? Okay, a lot of information. Plan your route and book. Da, 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 in advance. Do you know what is the meaning of book? Reservation. Exactly. It's like a reservation. It's a synonym. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So plan your route and book. What do you think? Book, donation, book, accommodations. 
book, preparation. What do you think? Book, accommodation. <laughs> I don't know, but maybe. <laughs> Book accommodations, okay. <laughs> accommodations. Look, we are talking about campsites, hotels, hostels. ¿Qué son esos? It's place, place to They're, accommodation. Exactly. So they are accommodations. Okay, then another advice for your event is... Uh, accommodations in advance da, 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 is very important to do a lot of exercise before you start. If I'm talking about exercise, what do you think? You talk about fit, fitter. <laughs> fit, what is the noun? See, fit is the verb. Fit. Fitter. 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 Mm. This one. <laughs> <I know. laughs> Have you ever seen the TV commercials or the signs uh, when you uh, go to the fitness. gym? Ah, very fitness. good. Mm -hmm. So this one changes a little bit. So fitness is very important too. So do a lot of exercise before you start. That uh, it's important that people can find find out about the event. So, post. What do we need to post? Para que la gente se dé cuenta del evento, what do we need to post? What do you think? Preparer. Mm, but what is that? Preparation, maybe? Remember that prepare is the verb. Yo necesito los nouns. Maybe a description. Descriptions. Okay, I'm going to write descriptions. Okay, post descriptions about the events on social media. Hmm, what do you mm -hmm. think? Information, teacher. Ah, okay. Which one sounds better? Post information on social media or post descriptions? Post information. Sounds better information. Ah, okay. So let's write. Could I repeat? Uh huh. Could we repeat it? This information is number two. Could it? Could we repeat it? No, we cannot repeat the words. So, number two or number five? In which one do you think that is better? No, number, number five. five is better information. Number okay, two. we had to remove this one here. <laughs> but if we don't have, before you start the event, you need to do a lot of preparing. <laughs> okay, <prepare>. preparation, <laughs> uh -huh. preparations, yeah. Okay, preparations. Okay, do you agree, guys? Oops, preparations? Yes? Yes, for the moment. Okay. <laughs> yeah. for the yes, moment. for the moment. <laughs> the moment, yes. <laughs> then you are changing. Okay, look at the next one. Okay, uh, post information on your social media. Then you need to create a fun racing page and write a ta, 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 of the event. Explain why you are doing it. Donation, because create a fun racing, racing is like a donation or, uh -huh. or not. Yeah, I think <laughs> that fundraising fun is like a, that or O R G? No. Could be. Maybe. <laughs> Could be. By faith. <laughs> By faith. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, um, create and found raising a page and write a donation. Mm, pero podemos escribir una donation? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Donation. 
Let's continue. Maybe you find out uh, in the next one. Suggestion. Suggestion. Uh -huh. Suggestion. 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 Right. Suggestion. A suggestion. Suggestion. Okay. Suggestion. Write a suggestion of the event and explain why you are doing it. Don't be afraid to tell people about your event. It will be in. Uh, it will be an amazing. Uh -huh. Amazing achievement. <laughs> we have the word achieve. So you decide. Can we say amazing. it will be an amazing achievement? What do you think? And look, they will be impressed. You can continue to receive da, 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 after the event. So, the number eight. Okay. Number eight yeah. is uh, donation. All right, donation. Ah, okay. It's it's taking more sense now. Okay, it is missing the number seven, and the words that we haven't used is well we already use achievement yes uh, this one we haven't used describe so in this case descriptions so can we say it will be an amazing description no not really <laughs> no <laughs> so Necesitamos cambiar una porque description no peguen las siete, guys. So what do you think? Teacher. Uh -huh. Teacher. Yes. Maybe in the number in the number six. In the number six, you think that is description. Yes. But achievement is logro. Yes. Yes. I, it will be an amazing achievement. Maybe. Okay, no. so we need to remove achievement from here. Yes. Yes, but the 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 number the number one he here I saw describing. <laughs> okay, let's see, let's see. Hold on. Okay, achievements. Um, okay, achievements over here, and instead of suggestions here, we got uh, description. description, description. Right? Okay. Yes. Descriptions. So In it the says. One. And in the first one? In the first one, I don't yes, know. Ah. So you see, guys, it says. Now, let's see if it makes sense. Aquí hay algunas sugerencias que harán de tu evento un éxito. O de tu evento exitoso. ¿Tiene sentido usar suggestions here? Yes. See, yes. yes, because remember, yes. we are using the word tips. These are advice. These are suggestions. Okay, before you start, you need to do, ¿qué necesitamos hacer? Muchas preparations. ¿Tiene sentido? Yes. Yes, of course. You need to book accommodation. So we are talking about the place. So, you need to book a place. Does it make sense? Yes. yes, it makes sense. Fitness is very important, so do a lot of exercise. Yes, pretty good. So, cuando hablamos de un post, ¿qué estamos haciendo? Informing, so we are providing information, nice. And then it says, write a description of the event. Look, la palabra clave aquí es explain. Cuando damos una description, ¿qué estamos haciendo? Explaining, right? Explain. So, yes. And then it says, si todo sale bien, right? Your event will be an amazing achievement. Va a ser un gran logro. Right? And the last one, eh, ¿qué van a recibir at the end? Money. Donation. <laughs> Money. Okay, donations. Exactly. So, 
The important thing here, if you see, um, a la primera tal vez no es que adivinamos la palabra correcta, pero a medida vamos leyendo, vamos re revisando, and we are identifying the correct one. So the most important here, guys, and the purpose is to be able to use the correct suffix to create nouns. Again, these ones are the verbs. And we are using nouns. Okay? Easy or difficult? What do you think? A little, a little, a little, a little bit difficult. A little, right? But listen to me, guys. Little by little. If you see, you already know some words. What we need to do is to continue learning more and more. I mean, in Spanish, <laughs> ¿conocemos todas las palabras del español? No. No, guys. Yeah. Not really, right? So, a veces hasta nos inventamos palabras in Spanish. <laughs> and they are not correct. Pero como es español, entendemos. So what happens, and what I'm saying this is because in English, it's the same. No es que nos vamos a aprender todas las palabras. I mean, cuando ustedes a veces me preguntan, teacher, ¿y cómo digo tal cosa? Hay momentos en los que yo digo, no, pues no sé. <laughs> right? ¿Y qué toca hacer? Dictionary. So, don't get frustrated if you say, nunca me voy a aprender todo esto. I mean, it, it is not necessary. Tenemos que irnos aprendiendo las palabras comunes, las que a nosotros nos sirvan, right? Si no soy abogada, ¿creen que me va a servir aprenderme el montón de términos legales? What do you think? No, not really. Not not really. Exactly. If I'm not a doctor, ¿creen que me va a servir aprenderme todos los términos que los doctors in English use? No. ¿Qué tengo que hacer? Aprenderme los basics, los más importantes, los que yo sienta que sí me van a servir. Que si de repente me encuentro en un hospital y solo hablan inglés, que yo sí pueda decir, ay, I have a headache. <risa> ¿Ok? I feel bad. O sea, que podamos explicar, guys. That's what you have to think. You have to imagine scenarios in your work. Imagine that suddenly appears a person in your job and you are the only person who learns English que al menos puedan tener una conversation with that person. Ese debe ser su goal. Piensen qué palabras, qué vocabulary les puede servir más y ahí es donde tienen que enfocarse. Understood? Yes? Yes, teacher. Yes. yes. Thank Pretty you. good. Ready for the next level, right? Mm. <laughs> Come on, let's try to be a little bit more optimist. Okay, now let's continue, guys, talking. Uh, I have a question. Um, would you guys be willing? Look at this. Would you willingly do business with a company that caused you a bad experience in the past? Imagine, have you ever visited a restaurant or a hotel and the experience was really bad? Yes. Have you ever had that ex a bad experience in a service place? Yes. Never. Never? Never heard. Okay. And you guys, have you ever been in a very bad hotel? Or in a very bad restaurant? <clears throat> yes, I remember. Ah, very good. And you guys, do you remember a bad experience in a hotel, in a supermarket, or in a restaurant? With maybe a in a restaurant. Maybe in a restaurant when you have to wait for a lot of. A lot of time. Yeah, a lot of time. Okay. And el seguro, right? Have you ever gone to el seguro? <laughs> <laughs> ah, let's be honest. Come on. Or yeah, imagine, imagine in the bank. In the bank. Ever... <laughs> yeah. Or with some internet companies. <laughs> so think about all the service that you have gotten 
Now think about the bad experience. Now I have a question. If you had a bad experience with that company, would you do business with that company again? For example? Never. Ah, never. Imagine in my case, I remember that everybody says that Tony Romans was a, a very good restaurant and that it was great and awesome. And I said, okay, I will try. And I went to Tony Romans and it was awful, was terrible. The food was bad. I mean, everything was bad. <laughs> I'm not going to give a lot of details, but for me, everything was bad. Never in my entire life <laughs> I visit that restaurant again because for me, it was a very bad experience. So what about you? If you have a bad experience with a company, will you go and do business with them again or not? It's the empty share because if you have a service or, for example, your bank yeah, is your, do you have your account account bank or, or the salary? The you company don't have deposit. <laughs> yeah, you don't have any option. Yeah, you have to, to work with the same bank all the time. That's but a in a restaurant, in a restaurant, I think that is is you you, yeah, you will decide it's different. Yeah, but in a service or or in a bank, for example, when you don't have it, options, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh -huh. it's like let's go back to El Seguro, right? I mean, exactly, it, it's, yeah. it's like you don't have options now. In these scenarios, as your classmate said, it depends. Maybe with a restaurant, yes, you can decide if you go or not. So that is basically what we are going to be talking about today. We are going to be talking, guys, when a, a company has bad management, okay? We are going to have a reading practice. So before reading, we are going to check vocabulary. So, there are some words that we already know. I hope you remember. For example, out of stock. What is that? Do you remember? Out of stock. Sorry, I don't. Fuera de, de, como, I think it's like, uh, there, there, there isn't uh, avail uh, available. Ah, very good. Exactly. We don't oh. have product available. Exactly. Imagine, for example, when was the the crisis of the pandemic, and you went to the supermarket. Did you find toilet paper? <laughs> yes, toilet paper. Nothing, no, no, right? No, always. always. <laughs> Exactly. So, no había nada de papel higiénico. So, ¿qué pasó con el papel higiénico? It was out of stock. Uh, out of stock. Exactly. No more. Okay? Now, nevertheless, let's see if you remember connectors. What is the meaning of nevertheless? Connectors? It's for adding information, contrast, provide a reason. Any idea? No? Okay, nevertheless, it's exactly the same as, uh, for example, when we say, however, they are the same. Okay, what is the meaning of however? In okay. translation, maybe sin embargo. Exactly. So, nevertheless, is exactly the same. Okay, they are just synonyms. Now, make waves. Hmm. What is this? Make waves. Make waves. Yeah. Literally, hacer olas. <laughs> Literal, yeah. exactly. Literal is like hacer olas. 
but a esto se le conoce como un idiom. Un idiom son como para nosotros en Spanish, um, como un refrán, <ríe> maybe, son esas frases que no se toman literal, sino que tienen un significado. Por ejemplo, if I say, al que anda entre la miel, algo se le pega. ¿Es literal? ¿Es decir que yo ando en la miel y se me va a pegar la miel? Yes. No. No, no. really, right? Es un sentido figurado. So, in this case, may waves, no es literal. So, may waves means like cows problems. Okay? Like cows, oops. Sorry, when we say cows problems, okay? Or cows damage. That is the meaning for make waves, okay? Como causar daño, causar problemas. Imagine if you say, I don't want to make waves. ¿Qué estoy diciendo ahí? I don't want to make waves. No quiero causarte problemas. Exactly. That is the want. So, no lo traducimos literal como, no quiero hacer olas. <laughs> I mean, doesn't make sense. All right? Is it clear the meaning for make waves? Yes? Yes, it is. Okay. It's a, it's a, it's a word que... How do you explain? Yeah. The name is idioms. Así se le dice a esas frases, mm -hmm. idioms. So there are phrases that we don't translate it literal, okay? But because they have, they are like analogies. Do you remember analogies? So they are like phrases, like for us, los típicos dichos y refranes que nosotros tenemos, en inglés también los tienen. Solo que a ellos les llaman idioms got it no the idea the idea is this uh, the the person or people says uh, does not want mm -hmm. make waves waves mm -hmm. waves waves mm -hmm. yes mm -hmm. that's the way that they use it now the next one mismanaged what is that Mismanage. So look, we have a prefix in this word. We have managed and we are adding a prefix mismanaged. What do you think? What is that? The opposite of good managed, what is it? Bad managed. So that is the meaning of mismanaged. Mismanaged is bad managed. Okay? Clear? Yes, okay, it's clear. Mismanaged. So, um, shortage. Do you remember what shortage is? Yes. What is that? Be careful microphones. Uh huh. Maybe what? I'm sorry. Maybe when you don't have enough product. Uh huh. Lack of products, right? So this is like, for example, imagine when we don't have rains. Y llueve así una vez al mes. So, ¿tenemos abundancia o escasez? Shortage. So, we have shortage. Lack of rain. Lack of product. Then we have the words. Eh, worsen. What do you think? What is worsen? It's saying worst. No. Worst. Similar, because worst, in this case, is the adjective. Worsen is the verb. Imagine the opposite of get better. 
What is the opposite? Empeorar. Exactly. So that is worsen. Okay? When you don't improve, you get worse. Understood? But the current say get worse with no. T. No. In or this worsen. Case, worsen is the worsen current. is is the verb. For example, you mm -hmm. can say I oh well in this case my health worsened. ¿Qué estoy diciendo ahí? Mi salud, simple past. Empeoró. Exactly. Okay. So I'm using worsen as a verb. Okay. okay? Very good. Okay. Then we have forecast. What do you think? What is that? It's like a plan, plan when you're planning something or forecast is demands or mm. oh, forecast no it's in spanish it's like, it's, <laughs> it's like um maybe prevision yes imagine guys for example when you watch the news and there is a section that says weather forecast ¿Qué estoy diciendo ahí? weather forecast ah tomorrow will rain so que creen que es weather forecast previsión del tiempo exactly pronóstico eh, well previsión del clima but only the word forecast is pronóstico right when we are thinking about what will possibly happened okay is it clear the word forecast yes, yes? i clear okay and the last one core what is core or is like a main or principle no because I, I i i associate core when when some some in some companies say the core business. What is your yeah. core business? Is it core? Is, is... It is. Remember, depending on the context, but you got the idea. It's like the most important thing. If I have a circle <laughs> and I have something inside, this, the one that is inside, that one is the core. Okay. For example, in our planet, our planet has a core, okay? In our family, we have our core. So los que viven ahí con su ca en su casa, ese es su core. ¿Tienen más familia? Yes, pueden tener familia hasta en Japón, right? But they are far. They are not your core. Yes? Teacher, what is mm -hmm. the difference? You said the, the, the words centers is similar. Is the similar center and core. Yes. Depend the context. What happens, guys, if you want to translate it, core is more nucleo, right? But a donde está el núcleo? In the center, right? So basically, it's just depending in which context you are using it, okay? Because we can translate core as la base, okay? The most important, the heart, okay? The principal, depending on the context that you are using, that's the translation that you will have. Okay. Yes. Se entiende la palabra core, everybody? Yes, teacher. Yes, no. We are going to have exam. <laughs> so be careful teacher. with the vocabulary. Uh huh. Teacher core have more of more than just one meaning. Yes, depending on the context. 
because uh, listen, because in some context yes tell me no no go ahead finish your idea uh, in some context i i was read course like ponderation like numbers all right my course for example all right listen depending on the context if we are in science si estamos hablando de ciencia right ellos usan core más para de definir núcleo el núcleo de algo right but if we are talking about business for example core is like principal, lo más principal, la base de algo, right? Si hablamos en un sentido un poquito literario, core means like heart or uh, the center, okay? So, it depends on the context that core can have different meanings, okay? Teacher, yes? teacher, I, I, I know, I know that word uh, just for a uh, kind of music different different kind of music that core metal core hardcore uh -huh. <laughs> all right that's interesting so you see we are using core in different just for, scenarios for that. Just okay for that way. could be core. right sounds good so in this case guys Sometimes core can be translated as verdadero. So maybe we can say el verdadero metal, right? Como la esencia de ese género de música, right? Could be. So, and this happens in English. Remember the one word can have different meanings depending on the context, okay? In the context that we are going to study today, we are going to talk it as, as a base or the principal, okay? Now, is it clear, okay. all the vocabulary? Are you sure, yes? Yes. Okay. Pretty clear. Let's do an exam. Ready for the exam? Yes. No. Ready, ready, ready. <laughs> By faith. <laughs> okay, look at this. Good at <laughs> Okay. Um, we are going to have a reading practice. Pay a lot of attention in the reading because after the reading, we are going to have a reading comprehension. I will ask you a couple of questions so everybody has to be able to answer. We are going to talk about a famous company. What is this company? Look. Walmart. Ah, have you ever been in a Walmart supermarket? I think yes, in a... In El Salvador, we have few supermarkets of, for Walmart. Have you ever been there? Yes, yes, in, yes of course. Pango. <laughs> ah, very good. Pango so, City. How was your experience? Was it good? It was okay. All right. Um, accessible. Very good. And you accessible guys? Price. Accessible prices sounds good a lot of a lot of products different yes products. they sell everything <laughs> a lot, of, a a lot, lot of. of things yes so we are going to read about walmart okay but not in the positive way we are going to read about some inventory issues that walmart has experienced okay so we are going to read the short paragraph and then we are going to answer some questions. Okay, let me open up the paragraph and I will need people for reading. Okay, so I hope you're ready for reading. Okay, can you see the paragraph? Yes. Yes. Okay, I will need the first person to read from here until here. Please volunteer. Please. Me. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, out of a stock problems, warmer had them too. With over uh, uh, 11, 11,000 11, stores in uh, 20, 27 countries and an average of 
32 billion in inventory. Walmart's supply chain is an expensive logistical accomplishment. Thank you. So, is this a big business? Yes or no? Yes. 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 It's a big business. Is huge. In how many countries can we find Walmart? In seven. In 27 countries. How much money do they generate? 32 billion inventory. It doesn't say million. It says billions. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that's a lot of money. Okay. Uh, let's continue reading from here until here. Volunteer? Me, teacher. Thank you. Go ahead. Nevertheless, Walmart's out of stock problem has been making waves into the recent years. Analysts have attributed Walmart's problem to mismanaged inventory. Thank you. Okay, so what is the problem that Walmart's uh, department have? What is happening? Mismanaged inventory. It's a, it's a bad administrator's inventory. Exactly. We have a bad managed. That means miss managed so when you go to walmart sometimes they are out of stock and the out of stock is making problems okay check the vocabulary we already said it okay so what happens then let's continue reading volunteer for reading from here until here Continue reading, please. Yes, go ahead. Walmart logistics are calculated with extreme precision, despite despite mm -hmm. the meticulous detail that goes into optimizing Walmart processes. Any shopper were still not getting the experience they expected from the retail store. Thank retail you. store. Retail store. Yes. Okay, so imagine, it's supposed that they have a good logistic, right? But what happens here? The customers, many shoppers, look, they are not getting a good experience. So maybe here in our country is a little good, right? But we are talking that Walmart has in 27 countries, so we don't know exactly what is happening in other countries. Right now, um, let's see, let's see. Volunteer for reading the next one from here until here. Volunteer, let's read. Can I teach? Yes, go ahead. If it is not on, on the shelf, I can buy it. A customer said in an interview. According to insiders, there were many cases where a stock was available in a storage, but due to short age of a staff, it got delayed for moving out of the shop floor. Thank you. So do they have enough products? Yes or no? According to this paragraph, do they have enough products yes 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 but what happens the products are not in the shelves they are in the storage storage what happens do they have enough people enough workers yes or no look Shortage of staff. What does that mean? What do you think? They don't have enough people and mm -hmm. enough employees. Exactly. Very good. They don't have enough employees. So they are saying that they have a lot of products, 
but in the storage they need to move it to the shelf so people can take it but they don't have enough staff they don't have enough employees to do that job okay so continue reading from here until here volunteer okay okay fatima and the last one ivan customers gradually stop shopping at walmart because of bad service and empty shelves and management worsened the problem by further curing but stuff to save in cost all right so imagine why guys why is the reason that they don't have enough staff enough Same employees one. for Same the bad one. service in the Mm -hmm. and bad service and bad management bad, bad management, save management money. and they just want to save money like <laughs> imagine this is kind of ironically because 32 billions is not enough <laughs> to pay enough employees so in order to reduce costs they don't have enough employees okay so the last one uh, Ivan Read the last paragraph, please, over here. Okay. In this case, Walmart failing because they didn't anticipate and forecast the effect that they also stopped inventory label would have on the customer experience, even for gigants like Giants? Walmart. What? Giants. Giant. Even for giants, like Warman inventory management remains the core of their business. Thank you. So imagine, guys, even when the companies are so huge that you can think, wow, Walmart is successful. Because, I mean, they are in a lot of countries. They are generating a lot of money. But even though, look they have issues with the management inventory okay you see it's very important to have a good management inventory okay is it clear the reading yes did you understand what was the reading about everybody yes <laughs> okay, no los veo convencidos, but I hope you are. Now it's time for a quick exam. Oh no. <laughs> yes, of course. Okay, this is a quick uh, reading confrontation about what we just read. First, I need you to write your full names, okay? Then clicking next. I have here different questions about the reading. You just have to pick the correct one. Only five questions, everyone. Okay, pretty easy. This is just to see if you understood what you read. When you answer all of the questions, click and send, and you will see if your answers are correct or not. Understood? Yes? Yes. Pretty good. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to send the link here on zoom okay open up the link and complete this uh, the short questionnaire go ahead don't forget to write your full name Only five questions. It's pretty easy, guys. This is just to see if you understood or not. It's not necessary to take a screenshot, just Send the answers. 
and automatically you will see if your answers are correct or not. Okay, I can see five people already finished. And I can see good scores. Mm, but I can see some mistakes too. Be careful, read carefully, guys. Yeah, one more. If you see, you just have to read carefully. Pay attention in the reading comprehension. Okay, I can see two people already got 10, pretty good. I can see some others. Mm. I can see some people with four correct answers. Okay. Everybody send your answers, go ahead. Read carefully. Okay, here I can see if you paid attention in the reading or not. I can see very good scores, but guys, reading comprehension. I can see some of you didn't pay attention in the reading part. Be careful, be careful. Complete the test. Did you finish? Yes. I can see some of you already finished. I will give you more time for the one who hasn't finished. Go ahead.
All right. Did you pass the exam, everyone? Yes or no? Uh huh. Did you pass? I had four of five. Mm, okay. Four. Yes, you pass it. Con tres la pasan raspaditos. Ya con dos ya no. <laughs> okay. So everybody. <laughs> Did you pass the exam? Yes? No? <laughs> okay, but you pass. That's great. That's great. Okay. You have to learn, guys, to read, but try to understand. What happens is when your classmate is reading, some of you are not paying attention. Right? So we understand only the paragraph that we read. So that is not the idea. You have to try to understand, pay attention to what your classmate said, and read carefully the questions. Okay? Because sometimes we fail, not because we don't know the answer, but because we don't pay attention. Imagine I can see uh, in these questions, for example, Look at this. It says, what cost delays to move stock out of the shop floor? That appears in the reading part. Is because they don't have the machines? Not really. Is because it's full for the distributors? No. ¿Qué decía el artículo? Is because they don't have a lot of employees. Okay? So, varios se me han equivocado en la question number three. In the question number four, how did the stock's problems become worse? Because the customers stopped shopping? Not really. Uh, because the stock was delayed? Or because they could have the staff in order to save money. Esto acaba lo vimos. Todavía les hice énfasis en saving cost. Varios se me equivocaron en esta question también. So, reading comprehension, everyone. We need to practice reading comprehension and understand what we are reading. Understood? Yes? So, for the one who didn't pass the exam, <laughs> welcome to Intermediate 4 again. No, I'm kidding, guys. No worries. Okay, before continue, I would like to know why do you have the a cameras off, everybody? I want to see you. It's the last day. Come on. I want to see you. All right, let's continue, everyone. We are going to have a quick review about the main important topic we studied. Do you remember the first conditional? Yes. I remember conditional. Excellent. And you guys? Yes or no? A little bit? More or less? A little bit. A little bit? Okay, in case that you don't remember, we are going to review it. I'm going to show you some sentences and you have to create the first conditional. For example, if not hurry, be late. So look at the picture. Remember, for the first conditional, I need two sentences. One sentence in simple present and the other sentence in future in the future correct so what will be the sentence here what is the sentence in present and what will be the sentence in future will be okay can you repeat will be late ah so if what is the subject in this sentence? I, he. He, okay. If he. he no. 
Can I say if he not? No, doesn't. Ah. If he isn't hurry. Isn't or doesn't. doesn't? Doesn't. If he doesn't hurry, what will happen? He will be late. That is the one. Look. If he doesn't hurry, this is the sentence in simple present. The result will be in future. If he doesn't hurry, he will be late. Okay, the next one. Look at this one. If Sonny have picnic, what do you think? Uh -huh. Any idea? If it is, if it is sunny. Uh -huh. um, we will have a picnic. All right. If it is sunny, we will have a picnic. So remember, we need two sentences. Affirmatives or negative, it doesn't matter. But I need sentences in simple present and in future. Now, let's imagine that this is an evaluation. So I will be asking individually. Let me start with du, 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 Ivan. He's the first person in my list. Okay, Ivan, <laughs> look at the sentence. If go party, have fun. What will be the first conditional here? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Let me think. If I go party, if I go party, we 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 will have uh we will we will have fun. Okay. If I go party, we will have fun. Let's see. Hmm. Pretty good. Imagine in this case, go, go to I go yes to, to uh -huh. the to the party. Okay, so imagine, guys, if you go to the party, what will happen? Ah, you will have fun. Okay, Ivan, pick someone. Okay, let me see. My friends, Herman. Okay, Herman, can you participate? I don't know if you are a listener. I think he's a listener, but I'm not sure. Okay. Uh, Jamie? Who? Jamie? Jamie. Okay, Jamie. What will be the sentence here? Jamie, are you there? Okay, guys, I need you to wake up, please. And I need you, everybody, participate. It's the last class. Come on. Okay, so let's continue with Christian. Christian, what is the first conditional here? If I win the lottery, I will be rich. Okay. Yes. We're using I, so it's good. If I win the lottery, I will be rich. That's good. Have you ever played the lottery, guys? No. Never. Never? <laughs> yeah, me neither. I'm not so neither. lucky. <laughs> okay, Christian, very good job. Let's continue with Fatima. Fatima, what will be the conditional here? If... If it snow, we'll, we'll ski. We will ski. Cool. Now, remember that snow is a noun, like nieve. So we can say, if there is snow, I will ski. Pretty good. So if you see, guys, this is the first conditional. Easy or difficult? What do you think? 
Ajá. Easy, difficult. A little bit easy. All right, pretty yeah. good. You just need to practice, everyone. Okay? Yes, yes. Pretty good. Okay, now we are going to continue with this practice, but before that, I'm going to check attendance again. Some of you weren't here when we started the class, so please, guys, don't forget to say present, okay? Adriana Escalante. Okay, um, Carlos Abrego. Um, Christian Alexander. Present teacher. Okay, Erika Yasmin. Fatima Denise. Present teacher. Okay, Germán Alexander. Héctor Francisco. Present teacher. Okay, Isabel Hernández. Present. Okay. Ivan Guzmán. Present. Okay. Jamie Raquel. Okay. Eh, Holman Girón. Present. Okay. Uh, Lucy Narali. Present. Okay. Magdalena Escalante. Present, teacher. Okay. Eh, Mirna Elizabeth. Present. Okay. Nelson Antonio. Okay. Oscar Armando. And Rosalina Alvarado. All right. Pretty good. Okay, guys, let's continue. During this level, we have been studying different words. Okay. We have been studying nouns. We have been studying adjectives, verbs, and adverbs. So what we are going to do now is to review them. I want to see if you are able to identify the nouns, the verbs, adjectives, or adverbs. I'm going to show you some sentences and you have to choose the correct answer. You have to tell me if that word is a noun, if it is a verb or you decide. For example, I always go to the park on the weekends. The word park, what is that? Is that a noun, a verb, or an adjective? A noun, teacher? A noun, are you sure? Yes. Everybody, what do you think? Do you agree? I agree. I think it's a noun. Absolutely agree. <laughs> agree. That's correct. Excellent. Totally correct. Pretty good. Okay, let's continue. Volunteer for reading the sentence number two, please. Volunteer for reading. On cold winter days, I love to have a cup of hot chocolate. Thank you. Okay. Cold. What is that? Adjective. Adjective. Sure? Yes, teacher. Pretty sure. Correct. You see, guys? Very good job. Okay. Hector, continue reading. Okay. How many out dogs <laughs> did you, did your friend, friend eat yesterday? I okay. think verb. Is a verb? Yes. yes. Do you like yes, hot dogs? Do you like hot yes, dogs? But, yes, but like a shorty. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. my shorty. Yeah. I love shorties. <laughs> killer killer it's, chai. It's not simple hot dog. It's a hot dog with with a skull or uh, a skull. It's Repollo, coles, coles, cabbage, yeah, with cabbage uh, or or onions or that is that is a special. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the mataniños I heard over there, the the children, the children killer, <laughs> those are dangerous. But look at this one, volunteer for reading. 
Uh -huh. Me. Yes. Roger, Bunny, there, finish the mark race very quickly in uh, 19. Na, 90. 50. Five, four. Yes. Remember that the years we read it two and two. So 19, 50, four. All right. The war quickly. What is that? Uh, there. Uh, there. Are you sure? Yes. Totally. You see, guys, now you are able to identify what words we are needed to. Very good. Okay. Imagine if I say her father flies to many countries in the world because he's a pilot. What do you think? It's a noun. Father is a noun. Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure. Oh my goodness, you see guys, easy, very good job. Volunteer for reading. Hmm. Can I? Yes, go ahead. My sister is very smart. She got an A plus on all her tests. Hmm. So what is a smart? Adjective. Smart is adjective. Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> Good. You see, guys. Excellent. Okay. Western Australia is the largest state in Australia. State. What is that? No. 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 Are you no. sure? Yes. Yes, it's yeah. a no. It is. Really good job. Okay, what about this one? Volunteer for reading. That is my favorite. I want. Yes. Oh. Okay, Magdalena, read it. July is my favorite month of the year. Favorite is an adjective. Okay, do you agree, guys? Yes. Yes, I'm sure. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> ah, very good. Hasta fácil lo ven ahora. Yes. But some weeks ago, ahí estábamos dudando. But look at you now. Very good job. Okay, volunteer for reading, please. Me? Yes. Stewart can speak Arabic very well because he lived in Egypt for a year. Hmm. Well, is a uh, adjective. An I adjective. Think. Everybody, do you agree? Mm -hmm. I agree. Yes. yes. And it's an adverb. Well, as an adverb. Mm, yes, because it's good. Yes, good is very adjective. well. Ah, very good. Remember, good is the adjective. Well, is the adverb okay the last one because of the time volunteer for reading uh-huh me yes i don't think it was a difficult test in fact i think it was quite easy mm, so the word easy what is it <laughs> easy is um Adjective. Are you sure? Yes. With your life? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> yes, it is. Really good job. So, guys, it is necessary to learn to identify the function of a word in the sentence. Now, because you are already an expert, we are going to change and now we are got a game. The winners will get money. Do you want money? Yes? Yes, yes, I'm sure. <laughs> yes, we want a lot of. <laughs> okay, let's see who is going to get more money today. Look at this. I have different categories, okay? I have 
nouns, verbs, adjectives, the one for uh, prefixes, we are not going to use it because we haven't studied this topic, okay? And the suffixes. Now, what you have to do is pick a category and answer the question. If you answer correctly, you will get money, okay? We are going to do it in teams, girls versus boys. If you pick $100, the questions are easier. If you pick $400, the questions are a little bit more difficult. So you can decide which one you will take. Understood the game? Yes? Yes. Yes, it's clear. All right. Uh, who wants to start? Ladies or boys? We are gentlemen. Ladies <laughs> first. Ladies first. Okay, ladies. Which category do you want? Nouns, verbs, adjective, or suffixes? Girls? Nouns. Nouns. Okay. How much money do you want? One hundred. One hundred. Okay. Let's start with one hundred. Can you hear me, guys? Everybody? Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. Look at this. Okay. One hundred. It says the boy had a big. The word says imagine, but I need a noun because imagine is a verb. So what is the noun that I need here? Girls? Imagination. 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 Are the you sure? Had a big imagination, yes. Imagination, <laughs> great job. Okay, girls, you already have $100. Pretty good job. Boys, it's your turn. Which category do you prefer? Boys, wake up. <laughs> Verbs? Verbs, okay, how much money? I went to 200. 200. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try it. Okay. Many people, death is the noun, but I need the verb. What is the verb? Death. Mm, death mm. is the noun. What is the verb? Die. 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 Are you sure? Yes. Die? No, yes. Yes, is, is, that is the verb because we have to conjugate it in third person. Many people um, died. Dies? Are you sure? Died in car accidents mm. every day. I think so. Every Everybody, what do you think? Okay, boys. No, we just need a past. The very <laughs> Mortar. No, we Mortar, need maybe. Present. simple present because the last word ah. is every day. We need simple present. In, in, just die. Only die. Mm -hmm. Okay, die. die. Is your final answer die? Die. Die, die with, with die. Death. Death. With this. Oh my goodness, dead. boys. Dead, dead, <laughs> dead. Dead. <laughs> okay, we don't have more time. Final dead. answer, dead. dead. Are you sure? Dead. Yes, dead. dead. Okay. Dead. <laughs> oh, die. <laughs> die is a I'm noun. I'm sorry, but it's die. Remember, the word death, death is the noun. For example, if I want to say muerte, how can I say muerte? Death. Pero el verbo morir is 
die. In this case, I'm talking about many people. Is that plural? Yes or no? Yes. 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 So it is not third person. If I say every day, that is frequency. ¿En qué tiempo gramatical usamos los frequency adverbs? Okay. Simple present. So that's why we say die. I'm sorry, boys, but you just missed and lost $200. Teacher, $100. <laughs> $200. I did, I, did, I did money. You are losing. Girls already have $100. So girls, <laughs> pick another category. Which one do you prefer? Girls, wake up. My gosh. Okay. If... <laughs> uh-huh. Which one? Noun. Nouns. Okay. How much? 200. All right. So, can you tell me which ta -ta 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 -ta, the people went? I need the noun. Direct is the verb. What is the noun? Remember? Direction. Direction. Are you sure? Yes, the noun. Okay. Direction. Pretty good. Oh my goodness, girls. You're making a lot of money now. Okay, boys, it's your turn. Don't give up. Which category do you prefer? Adjective. Adjectives. Okay, how much money? <laughs> 300. 300. Oh, okay. Yeah. Why not? Of course, man. <laughs> okay, adjective. After dinner, that watches the nation is a noun. So, what is the adjective? National. National news. Are you sure? Yes. Yeah. Yes, I yes, sure. Yes, yes, yes. Claro que yes. Yeah. <laughs> claro que yes. What? Yes. National. Pretty good. Okay, guys. You have 300. Okay, girls. It's already a tie. Mm, no se dejen. Come on. <laughs> okay, girls. Go ahead. Give me a category. Girls. Adjectives. Adjectives. How much money? 400. Oh, I like that. Is the oh attitude. My God. <laughs> okay, this medicine is more A. This adjective appears in the class. Uh huh. Effect. What is the adjective? Is more. Don't look in Google. Effective. 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 Are you sure? For hundred dollars. Yes. Are Which you sure? medicine is more effective than that one? Okay. Effective, maybe. Fatima. Effective. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> effective. Yeah, I decide to push the bottom before you change your mind. <laughs> okay, yeah. so you are making a lot of money, girls. Oh my gosh. Okay, boys, it's your turn. Go ahead. Which category? Hey man, would you, would you like now? <laughs> would you like now? Nouns? Yes? Don't be afraid, boys. Come on. No. Okay. 300 or 400? 400. 400. 400. 400. <laughs> they want money. Uh -huh. for, the, for the glory or for the dead? <laughs> <laughs> By faith. <laughs> okay, able. Able is the verb. What is the noun? The ta 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 to speak English is very valuable. The ability. Which one? Ability. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Boys? 
Ability, yes, ability. Are you sure? For the glory of all the time. <laughs> ability, oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, very good job. It's a tie. Okay, girls, this is the last one for you. And boys, the last one and it's over. Girls, which category do you prefer? Quickly, because we don't have more time. Nothing, a choice. <laughs> <laughs> choice one. <laughs> Quickly, quickly, quickly. We got nouns, verbs, adjectives, nouns, nouns, suffixes. Three Which one? Nouns. nouns. 300? Yes. Okay. <laughs> the da -da 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 brought the coffee, but she forgot the sugar. The waiter. <laughs> waiter? Waiter. Yeah, waiter brought the coffee, but she forgot the sugar. Yeah, waiter is the Are you now. sure? Yes. The end. Waiter. Mm, okay, remember that waiter oh. is for men, and it says she. Oh, she, yes, yes. Wait, wait. What do you this. think, guys? Do we give them the points or not? No, 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 no. Yeah, I'm sorry. It has wait, to say wait, right? Yeah, isn't isn't what is a woman? Yes, yeah, wait yeah. Sorry, sorry. My goodness. <laughs> <laughs> okay, boys, boys, it's a it's a tie. So this is the last one for you, boys. One hundred. Which one? There's one hundred. Birds, ah, the easy one. <laughs> please sing, please sing. sing me something to help my sleep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah ah, too. my gosh, yeah. We won. The winner is a man. We won. No. <laughs> really? We are the man. <laughs> For the Father's okay. Day. Congratulations. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. It's for it's the so Father's Day. Ah, se dejaron las mujeres. Come on, se dejaron, yeah. right? But yes, girls. Curves, <laughs> teacher. Was curves. <laughs> okay. So, boys, we don't have more time. Officially, guys, we just over the pre intermediate four. Congratulations. Very good job. Ya ven que si se pudo, right? So everybody, the time. yes, you are more than ready to start the intermediate five. Oh my goodness. Dos niveles más y se van avanzados, boys and girls. Okay. So please keep practicing. Okay. Creo que solo hay una persona que no ha terminado la plataform, así que tienen que hacerlo as soon as possible. Okay. So guys, do you have any questions before leaving? No, teacher. No questions? Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> <In> my pleasure. <laughs> and for the ones who are fathers, again, happy Father's Day for tomorrow. Don't drink too much, okay? <laughs> Pretty good. Okay, everyone. Okay. Thank you. Have a good nice night. See you, you around. Bye-bye. Goodbye. It's wise. A pleasure. Everybody. My pleasure, too. Bye-bye.